Okay guys I welcome you all to Engineers Academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the motor pulls on the cable at A with the force of this when the force is given as a function of time if the 34 pound crate is originally on the ground at t equals to 0 determine its speed in t equals to 4 second neglect the mass of the cable and the pulley hence first find the time needed to begin lifting the crate so we are given this crate which is lifted by this motor so we have to find uh, the velocity of the crate after t equals to 4 seconds and the force is given as a function of time this is force given as a function of time so now for free body diagram if we if we draw the free body diagram so the force of the crate is going to act as a tension in the rope so we will have that tension that force f which is acting upward and we will have the weight which is going to act vertically downward and the weight is 34 pounds so before start of the motion the system will remain in equilibrium and if we apply the summation of forces along y so that must be equals to zero and we are considering that this is the positive the the motion in the upward direction is considered to be positive so as we can see that force f is this force f is acting in the positive y direction and this is acting in the downward direction so we will write that this is uh, f minus weight this is equal to zero or we can say that force is equal to that uh, weight and now force is given as a function of time which is 30 plus t square this is equal to 34 and from this equation we can write that t square is 34 minus 30 and from this we get that t square is equal to 4 and if we take the square root then t equals to 2 second if we take the square root on both sides of the equation so we will get that t equals to 2 second now the motor takes uh, 2 second to start uh, lifting the crate now to find the velocity of the crate after t equals to 4 seconds we have to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum which says that the initial momentum plus the impulse due to the external forces the summation of the impulse due to the external forces is equal to the final momentum and let's say that the final velocity is v2 so now the initial velocity of the crate is zero so this will become zero and the summation of the impulses due to the external forces so we have two external forces one is the force of the motor and the other one is the weight and we are applying this uh, in principle of linear impulse and momentum in the vertical direction so again we are considering this as the positive direction of the motion so and the force f is acting in the upward direction so it will have impulse in the upward direction so let's say that that will be plus and that is f dt and the impulse due to the weight is going to act in the downward direction so we will write minus and that is weight is 34 times dt and this is equal to mass times so now the weight is given which is 34 so to get the mass we have to divide by g value which is 32.2 and v2 we need to find it now we need to integrate this equation from 2 seconds from the start of the motion until t equals to 4 seconds so this is from t 2 to 4 seconds now uh, in this here we have f as a function of time so we have to put that f as a function of time in this particular integration so let me put it here and then we need to write that f is f is 30 plus t square so now when we integrate both of these uh, terms so this this term will give me this will give me 30 t plus t to the power 3 divided by 3 and we have to put those limits so we have to put those limits from 2 to 4 seconds minus now the integration of this will give us 34 t from 2 to 4 and this is 34 divided by 32.2 into v2 now if we put these limits we will have 30 into 4 plus 4 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 
we will put the lower limit which is 2 seconds so 30 into 2 plus 2 to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is minus and minus 34 into 4 minus 34 into 2 and this is equal to 34 divided by 32.2 into v2 so now this term gives me this is equal to 141.333 minus this term is 62.67 minus this term is 68 and this is equal to 34 divided by 32.2 v2 and now the left hand side if we add up all of these so this gives us 10.663 this is 10.663 and this is equal to 34 divided by 32.2 into v2 and from this we can write that v2 is equal to 10.663 multiply by 32.2 divided by 34 and if we solve this so we will get v2 equals to 10.09 feet per second so this is the velocity of the crate after t equals to 4 second and the direction of this velocity is in the upward direction since we have assumed that the upward direction is positive and the velocity and the velocity comes out to be positive since the motor is always pulling the in the upward direction so the velocity will be in the upward direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning